because we've got one of the new 5000 series CPUs, we're going to need a BIOS update before it's going to work on our motherboard. So we've got two options to update our BIOS. The first is we can install an older 3000 series CPU, which will work on this motherboard right out of the box. We can then go ahead and update our BIOS in the standard way that I've shown you in previous videos, and then swap out the CPU to our new CPU, and it will work perfectly fine. If you don't have an older CPU, or you want to avoid all the hassle of that, because that does sound like an awful lot of hassle, there is an alternative. Our motherboard has a flash BIOS button, so we can load our new BIOS onto a USB drive. I'll show you how to do this in a minute. And then we can update the BIOS on our motherboard without actually going ahead and installing anything else on the motherboard. So I'll show you how to do that now. Okay, first thing for us to do is to head over to our motherboards page over on MSI's website. And I'll put a link to this in the description. We can then find the BIOS tab and find the latest version of the BIOS. So I'm going to go ahead and click download. Once it's downloaded, we can go ahead and show it in the folder. Double click on it. And it's this file here that we want. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this to an external USB drive, which is formatted in FAT32. So when I go to copy, and then I'll find my external drive, and then paste. Next, we need to rename this file. So I'm just going to right click on it and click on rename. So we're going to want to call this msi.rom. And it's going to ask us, do we want to change this? I'm going to click yes. And that's our USB drive ready to update the BIOS. So we can now go ahead and plug our USB drive into the flash BIOS port. It's this one here marked with a little rectangle around it. And the flash BIOS button is just above it. So now we need to power our motherboard. There's two power cables we're going to have to plug in, our 24-pin connector and also the 8-pin connector supply an additional power to the CPU. So I'm going to go ahead and plug these in now. Okay, that's that one in. Okay, and a word of caution on this. Um, if you do this wrong, you can actually end up breaking your motherboard. So you should really only be doing this if you really have to. It's also really important that your motherboard does not lose power during the BIOS update. This whole thing's probably going to take about five minutes. And if your motherboard does lose power during it, the chances are you will have bricked your motherboard. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and flip the switch on our power supply. Our next thing to do is to press the flash BIOS button. So I'm going to go ahead and press that now. Okay, so you can see the little red light flashing. Whenever the BIOS update's finished, that light should stop flashing. So we expect it to take about five minutes. So I'll go ahead and speed this bit up for you. Okay, so we can see the little red light has stopped flashing. What happened? The motherboard powered off and then powered back on again. So hopefully that should be our BIOS updated. It took maybe about four and a half minutes or so to finish.